What is wrong? I've got ants all over me. I'm standing in a ant hill near my chair now. Yeah. Ah! They're making a nest. Crater Lake is deep. When I say deep, let me explain. You know that person that could take the simple and the mundane and make it come alive? I had a teacher like this in high school. His name was Mr. Thompson. He would take Washington, Jefferson, Lincoln, and he'd bring them to life. You would sit there on the edge of your seat and you're going, how could this be so interesting and entertaining? It's because he went deep. Well, that's Crater Lake National Park. You get here, yeah, it's a lake full of water. There's uh, camping and hiking and nature, butterflies, squirrels, raccoons, it's all there. I've never been this close to a bear. But if you take the time and get to know this place, you've got legends and myths and history and so much more. You gotta go deep. A lot of people don't know this, but Crater Lake is the third deepest lake in the world. And the second deepest lake I remember now, it's the deepest lake in the Western Hemisphere. The story of Crater Lake begins with a legend passed down by the Klamath people. Long, long ago, Lao, the god of the world below, crawled up from the underworld and made a hole atop Mount Mazama. From the mountaintop, he saw the beautiful daughter of the Malalak chief. He wanted to take her away to the underworld so that he could stay with her for eternity. But she didn't want to go. He roared with anger and started throwing stones from the top of the mountain, which caused lava to flow through the valley. So the people called upon Skell, the god of the world above. He came and stood atop Mount Shasta to stop Lao. They fought a fierce war from the mountaintops. The skies were filled with smoke and the people were terrified. Two holy men then went up the top of the mountain and threw themselves into the fire. When Skell saw this, he took courage and fought harder and drove Lao back into the underworld. So then Skell collapsed the mountain on top of Lao and filled it up with water so that it would reflect the sky above. This way, people would never forget the story of Lao and the fire below. It's gotta be true. This is a sacred place. So the reason why you don't know a lot about Crater Lake because it was not even discovered until the late 1800s. Why? Because the people who lived here considered it just that, sacred. They didn't want people to know about it and they didn't even talk about it. They would come right to this spot for inspiration. It's not hard to get the sense of why this place is so special. There is a spiritual energy here. You feel it, you take it with you when you go home. And it's just a part of the fabric of this place. And today, even though there's a lot of people here, it's really not overcrowded. I mean, on the whole lake right now, there's one boat, one boat. And there's a thousand people in that one boat. John Wesley Hillman was with a couple of gold hunters when he came across this area. That's when he discovered it for himself and gave it the name Deep Blue Lake. It was in 1887 that he assisted a group to survey the area. They came to the conclusion that this lake really is deep and blue. Actually, they came to the conclusion that it was about 2,000 feet deep, which is deep. In 1869, newspaper editor Jim Sutton called it Crater Lake, and the name stuck. Every now and then when I paint, I get to combine great architecture with unbelievable beauty. That's what you get here at Crater Lake Lodge. This was somebody else's fault, but I don't care. As I'm sitting here in front of this lodge, looking down at nature as it plays out before my eyes, even I can slip into a little bit of a moment where Perhaps I'm getting a little comfortable, but every now and then my inner Wyoming will still come out. Hey, this gives me an idea. We need to play steal the flag right out there. The island is actually called Wizard Island. Where that came from, I don't know. I haven't come across a lake with so many different names. Majesty Lake, the Deep Blue Lake, 
it went through several versions of what it was going to become before they actually figured out Crater Lake. That's what it is. What if you had two cubs behind you and you had to protect those cubs? Now can you imitate a bear? <laughs> <laughs> That's a grizzly bear. Do anything else you want to do on camera? I don't think so. After coming here and learning the legends and the stories of these people, I now understand why it is such a sacred place. Because it goes deep. There's a lot here. And you're going to love every minute of it. And that is Crater Lake National Park. So in 1869, when somebody I don't remember, so in 1869, just a second. So in 1888, long, long ago, in the world underneath, oh, sorry, the god of the world below, call, call, call of the Makalak chief, the Makalakalak chief, the Makalakalak chief. So in 1845, no long after that, in 1865, the military, no, did you mean no? Still rolling. I gotta read this, I, I just got through writing it. Rolling. Okay, all right, so, well, I know you're ready to roll. Let me look at my line. He roared from the top of the mountain. Mm. Fires throughout the land. Squirrel. 1886, it was, no, just a second. They're making a nest! Do you see any? I'm telling you, the ants are the ones to look after, not the squirrels. It's the ants or the bears.